Chief Weathercaster Lonnie Quinn of our New York station, WCBS, is here to show us the science behind this eruption. Lonnie, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Vlad. Good morning, everybody. Now, the earthquakes that Carter just mentioned are the direct result of the pressure that builds up when molten rock travels underground. Mount Kilauea has been in a constant state of eruption since 1983. And the most recent eruptions were caused in part by the collapse of a crater that was filled with lava just a week ago. You can see that the crater is now empty and what's rising is not steam. That's actually dust from the collapse of the floor. And that crater is more than 10 miles from the Leilani Estates. It's more than 25 miles from the center of the volcano. So that lava traveled a great distance. And when that floor caved in, that lava went back underground. It traveled all along the East Rift Zone right here, all the way out to the Leilani Estates. And as that lava pushed further and further along, it formed cracks in the surface. And these cracks are called fissures. And there have been 10 fissures so far, but all but one of them have closed up, so there's only one that's still active. So imagine you take a hose, a garden hose, and you puncture it 10 times. Well, it's gonna shoot water out of those holes, but now imagine that same hose, you, you puncture it just one time, all that added pressure, but with one escape route, it goes way into the air, and because of that, that added pressure has shot the lava 330 feet in the air. Now, a similar eruption to this one lasted 88 days back in 1955. There's no prediction for how long this one's gonna last, but it could very well be a while. So that's the latest, guys. John, let's go back to you. Wow, that's fascinating, Lonnie. Thank yeah. you. Particularly the garden hose analogy. Yeah, good, a really Perfect. good description. Perfect. Really yeah. good description. Yes, and gold star for analogies. <laughs>